Here we have a Ryzen 3900X CPU that came in for repair. Let me just make sure it's the 3900X and yes. Ryzen 9 3900X that came in for a lot of damage. I see a massacre on the CPU just by looking at it with the naked eye. Let's go under the microscope and see what's going on. Look at this. Massacre, right? It looks like we have four missing pins. This one is deceased in the line of duty. This guy is deceased. Same here and same here. We need four replacement pins. And the rest, they look bent. Bent to the bones. Not bad to the bones. Bent to the bones. We're going to use my favorite knife blade. This one here to straighten out the pins. You can find and purchase this blade off our site. We have seven different types of blades that you can choose from and you can purchase all your tools from our site we have everything in stock you can purchase everything from hot air stations soldering stations thermal cameras flux blades tweezers everything just log in to northridgefix.com click on shop add whatever you want to the shopping cart check out and we almost always ship out your order same day So let's use this blade. We're going to go in between the pins and nice and gentle. We do not want to force anything, just nice and gentle. You know, like if you are arguing with someone and you raise your voice, you're arguing while raising your voice, it doesn't work. Just patience, gentle, and everything will work out. If you raise your voice, the other person can raise his voice as well. You want to yell, the other person can yell also. So do not go that route. Same thing here. Nice and gentle. No rush. I mean, the way the pins are bent, it's going to take some patience, but it's not that bad. It's a lot harder to work on Intel sockets on motherboards and straighten out those pins compared with this one. And I have many videos on those. You can check them out. Just search for maybe Northridge Fix socket and you will find them. It's a nightmare to work on those pins because the pin is wavy. It's not one straight pin. It has a shape to it. I just need a small tiny gap so I can fit my blade. Just like that. See? Just one tiny gap, just like that. I mean, I love this knife blade because it has a sharp edge and also a flat edge. I can use both. So I use the sharp edge to, to make a gap between the pins and I use the flat side to make it straight. Awesome. Two in one. Some people suggested mechanical pencils in a previous video. Why grab your ear from the other side? There is more than one way to skin a cat. And all cat lovers are going to freak out. It's only an expression. Relax. Relax. Tranquilo. 
Hold your horses. Because I've said 101 ways to skin a cat and people freaked out. I do not skin cats. Do not worry. Maybe I do it in my dreams, but not in real life. Now we have a very bad one right here. Can we fix it? Maybe. If not, then we're going to have to replace it. Nice. Nice. So we only have a problem right here. And of course the four pins that we need to solder. But just consider the CPU fixed. We're almost there. And the pins are perfect. They are perfect with maybe a one or two degrees error, which is fine. You can bend the pin 10 degrees and still be able to fit it inside the socket. But they look very good to me. I mean, you can tell some of the pins are bent, maybe like two degrees, like this one here. Yeah, I mean, everything else looks good. Let's go over this one more time quick. And I do see signs of flux in this area. So maybe the person attempted to solder missing pins and failed. But this CPU is not only missing pins, it's band pins as well. We fixed all the band pins. And now we're going to replace the broken ones. Maybe I should have it before and after to show you how it was and how it is now. Let's take a look and see where the four pins are. Yeah. One, two, the one over it, three, and the one next to it, to the left, is four. Maybe we can zoom in a bit. Just like that. What happens if we use our anti-glare light? Let's try it. Wow. So we have one, two, three, and four, and look at the tip look at the tip of the nf.mini pen we can get to all the areas that we need awesome we're gonna have to add flux just a tiny bit of flux and that's enough fume extractor on you do not want to inhale the fumes the pen is broken and the bottom the base of the pen is still soldered onto the pad and we want to get rid of that base before we solder a new pin with the base. That's the base right there. I can grab it. It's 
See? Just like that. And we're going to do the same thing here. And that's very delicate work because we are moving in. We have to make sure not to knock off any neighboring pins. There's no room to shake your hand. Just hold your breath, grab it, and do not move. Because if you do move, then you're going to knock off the pin on the left and right, and God knows where. Slide it. Very nice. And we have to make sure those two pads are not bridging, like what you see here. And finally, we have the one next to it, and we have to be super careful. Super careful, do not move, do not shake. And you see we knocked off. We knocked off the pin. But that's okay. When top gets going, going gets tough, right? Or vice versa. When going gets tough, top gets going. I said it once and a viewer said, no, it should be vice versa. It doesn't matter. It works both ways. And we can zoom out a bit, just like that. We're going to add some ring light on top of the anti-glare light. We're going to grab that pin. And we're going to apply hot air. Done. Right? Keep holding, make sure solder hardened. Done. Straight as an arrow. Now we do not need to add solder on those four pads. We already have solder and there's absolutely no need to go in there and add solder. I'm gonna grab a donor CPU and I have one right here. Let's grab this pin. Just look at how precise this tweezer is. A perfect tweezer for the job. You can find those tweezers on our site. They are labeled as NF.B for bent, Northridge Fix bent, and NF-S for straight. I'm using the bent one. And the last time I worked on a CPU, I used the straight one. So you can use either. Maybe we can start with this one here. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. And just like that. Now, if that pin is not perfect, maybe it's leaning more towards the left or the right or up or down, that's okay because you can straighten that pin with the blade. But for the most part, the pin is straight, okay? Solid, and where's the other one that we soldered? This one here came off, it's solid, and we have three more. Three more, and we're gonna call it off for today. Right now it's 6.05, we close at six. So, last repair for the day. Let's grab this one. And like I said, we have enough solder on those pads. And you have to learn how to work smart and not hard. Do not shake your hand. No room for mistakes. The slightest handshake will knock off Five ten pins nearby. Straight. Good. And we have two more. We have two more. Let's grab this one here.
Whoa. Whoa, you see how it snapped? And it took off the other pin with it. Wow. They snapped off like ninjas. One shot, both of them. This pin grabbed the hand of that one and they snapped off. I'm glad that happened. So you can see how delicate this work is. It's okay. Let's see if you want to play games. We're going to teach it a lesson. They snapped off like there's no tomorrow. One for your life. Ninth dimension. You won't see those pins again, I guarantee you. It's okay. I mean, this pin is so straight we cannot see it. We can only see the tip. Okay. We need a good grip. If you do not have a good grip or control over the pin, then you're gonna mess up. Easy boy, easy. Very nice. And one more to go. Done. We are done. Wow. Amazing. We did it. Just gently clean up. And let's turn off our ring light and keep the anti glare light on. Just like that. Focus. Very nice. I mean, look at the before and after. Go back, look at the before, and look at the after. You cannot tell which one we soldered and which is factory. You cannot tell. Look hard. And let's go back to our ring light. The combination of the ring light and the anti-glare light is amazing. We have full control of what we see under the microscope. Sometimes a different angle of light makes all the difference. And that's why I keep mentioning the anti-glare light, anti-glare light. It's a game changer. If you have not already purchased one, just log into northwitchfix.com, click on shop. Add to cart, buy, and we ship it out next day. Easy. And that's it. We are done. CPU is fixed. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. We're going to end it right here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll do something else in the next video.